Hello everybody and welcome to our Math Learning Live webinar. I am your presenter today. My name is Hiba. I am so thrilled to be here to talk about math learning. I feel grateful also to be here today and I'm so glad that you all are able to join us and especially I know many of you are teachers. And this time can be very, very busy for you. So thank you again for joining us. I hope this webinar is worth your time. Just a quick note before we get started and what we are going to cover today. Today I'm going to talk about math learning challenges and engagement, how to make math more fun, how and, uh, and getting introduced to artificial intelligence enabled mathematics. And we'll give you some tips, tricks, and tactics that will save teachers precious time to take it home with you today, and we'll close with Q&A. A recorded version of this webinar will be available to share out, so please feel free after the webinar is finished to forward it along with your colleagues and share it with them. And now to get started, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Hiba Smadi. I am a professional teacher and I am in educational industry for many years now. I have engineering background. I'm specialized in mathematics platform in this region and I am representing Knowledge Hub company, the company that provides learning solutions to support teachers and school in everyday challenges for the past 20 years in Middle East and Africa regions. And I'm going to be with you today for the next few minutes. It is an interactive webinar, so please feel free to ask any questions at your convenience. There is no rules. And also, I would love to hear from you. So kindly write in the chat box more about what, you, what grade you are teaching and from which school. And for all those who are just joining us today, welcome, welcome to Math to the world of mathematics. This is an opportunity to make math more captivating. I will talk to you on more details about this shortly. Blended learning, hybrid learning, online teaching. All those phrases is to describe the solution for the current situation everyone is facing now and really combine the best of face to face and online instructions in way that can customize the learning experience for each student. The teacher has an engaged role and is using the technology to get no students better. You know, it's so easy to say those positive sides, but we also know as a teacher that the blended learning come with many, many challenges to teachers, students, and also for parents. Decreased motivation and weakened relationship between students and teachers. How to make sure that every student, all my students, the huge number of them are really, really understanding. What kind of questions I have to prepare in each topic and how many questions. How to make sure that I give each student what they need to help them really understand and learn how to know exactly what their struggles, how to make sure if I should continue or concentrate more on the previous, how to make sure they are really practicing and how to let them really have fun learning math, create engaging activity for them. And do really as a teacher, I have time to do all of this. And now, how to and really we need to captivate the students during the online teaching during the blended learning and you know as a teacher we have to divide the 45 the 45 minutes lesson to get the best out of them studies shows that students can mentally focus only in the 15 minutes this is right in the classroom where teachers in front of her students but what about the online teaching, the blended learning? How to make this work for them? That's why schools and teachers are heading to use different learning solutions to try to overcome those challenges. But how now 
to which, but how teacher and school know what is really the right tool? Today, I'm going to introduce the right tool for math learning with its curriculum agnostic. And I can assure you as a teacher that after this webinar, that teacher will start enjoy teaching and students will love learning math. So we'll come to mathematics. Some of you might know it before and some of you might be brand new to them. Mathematics will support mathematical thinking in classroom and also can help support your transition from classroom to distance teaching. Mathematics is an engaging platform from kindergarten to grade 12. Mathematics also a globally recognized platform and award winning resource. It is one of the five digital solutions provided by 3P Learning, used by more than 14,000 schools, 200,000 teachers, and almost 5 million students. And now Mathematics is used in 110 countries, and it is approved by two major world universities. The cornerstone of mathematics success is its ability to engage students and, and save teacher precious time. To help in the mathematics journey today, I am going to take you in a tour to the teacher and students console. Just a quick note before we get going. As a teacher, you can use mathematics on the browser using your computer or on smart port if you are using it in your school. For, for students, they can use also the browser and also they can uh, download it as an application from the App Store or Google Play. First, I'm going to show you how mathematics courses are developed to align to international curriculum. After uploading class list, and have, your uh, and have your school ready for using mathematics, you can go and choose your curriculum among the global curriculum mathematics provide. From course admin, manage default courses. Here you can see all your classes. You just choose the class and go and select the country from wide range re regions. You can choose Australia curriculum, Canadian curriculum, Indian, IB school curriculum, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, and lots of them. For example, if I am going, if I am in United Arab Emirates and I am teaching, I am teaching United Kingdom curriculum, it's easy. Just choose the region and choose the year you are choosing, year two, and that's it. You can assign it to the year and save it. It's so easy and so simple using mathematics. And now I'm going to log in as a teacher to my teacher console where teachers are going to spend most of their time there. I can also use my login as a teacher, but if I'm in the admin console, it is a so easy way to go to my teacher console. This is the teacher homepage look like here you will get all the help you might need in as a video or step by step guide like this if you needed a help in assign homework or play my lesson just to click on it and mathematics will guide you in step by step or a video to help you do your task after students are ready and teacher are ready to use mathematics Teacher first will have to go and manage her students. As you see here, I am teaching grade four. In the beginning, all students will be in the same year group level. And obviously that not all students are in the same level. So the most important things is to group students based on their level, higher or lower. And teachers can name that group whatever they are referring to the planning. For example, if teachers are using the color code indication, for example, here in my in my class, I refer the red to my students that are below the age related expectation. And I'm going to assign them to year three course 
in choosing the curriculum based on the region. If I am teaching United Kingdom curriculum or the US curriculum, it is so easy to select it from here. Select the year. He is below age expectation and select the course common core and that's it. You save it in this way. As a teacher, you are putting your school, your students in level. But what about teacher who doesn't really know her students who are new to her class? What mathematics can do for her to support her, assess her students? It is so easy using mathematics. You go to assign and review. Try to send an assessment, a pre assessment for your students. From here, you just filter to use which grade and curriculum you want to send the questions. Filter it from here to see what the questions you want to send. And also before that, you can go and a quick preview all the questions available for that curriculum. The assessment type will allow you here to run the assessment multiple times. For me as a teacher, as a new teacher teaching my students, I want to send a pretest for them just to assess them, to guide me, to put them in groups. It's so easy. You can choose by individual students or select them all. And after assigned to them, students will start solving these, these questions. The more you get, it will give you a really good guide to, to help you put your students in level and groups. As you see here, my students, I have two students are mastering the topics. They are really remembering what they took last year, and some of the students are really struggling. So this could be give you a really good guide for you to start managing your students. Now, as a math teacher, I am going. I am going to cover two or three topics for my students inside class online online classes or in a classroom and then I have to make my students practice those lessons and topics. You go to assign and review as a teacher to let your students practice. Go to courses. These, co these courses are aligned with what students are really taking in school. The topics here is aligned with the units. The, less, the activity here is aligned with their lessons. When you click to any activity, you will open and preview what questions your students will practice. For example, this week I'm covering multiplication and division. You can see that there is 10 questions in each activity and also an info icon to guide them in each step while they are practicing. And always there's an animation just to encourage them and keep them captivating and one of them really wants to answer correctly. From here. You can choose exactly what you are covering this week, just to easy for you to see what you are, what you are going to see. For example, my students are struggling in multiplication and division. I will choose the easier part for them and that's it. I can select it by individual students or select it to all and that's it. Assign, assign it now or assign later, which is a great tool for students, for teachers to let them prepare ahead for the lessons. I can as a teacher prepare a week before or a month before. I just here assign the date and the time. Once that is the date and time come, a student will start practicing. It's so great tool for teacher to save their precious time. But today, but that last week I was giving them the core. Questions as you see my students start to practice. As you see, this students is really struggling, have 40%. It's so easy using mathematics to support your students. You just click there and reassign it for the students to practice more. You look into these marks, you will see that this, this is student Rashid Ahmad. He was really, really good in practicing. When you open and click on that mark, you will see that Rashid has been practicing for three times. Go to view results, you will see improving 
you will see the students improving in every step he tried to practice this activity. And anytime you can click on the student's name to see student's result, it will show you as a teacher what your student need most help with and what is he is excellent at. See, Mathematics will give you a really accurate tool to assess your students understanding while you are teaching math. And it will also save you time. You don't have to prepare questions or engaging activity. And now after covering two or three topics for in the students, in the end of this week or in the end of this month, I want to assess my students understanding and I want them to practice their mathematical fluency. It is so easy using mathematics. You just go to assign and review. Mathematics creates and creates understanding, practice and fluency. You just take, click here and it will take you into this page. You just go to the filter. Just for example, I'm teaching grade four. I choose my grade. Go to the filter. Choose from the wide range topics what I'm really covering this week. This week I'm covering multiplication and division and that's it. Before I assign anything to my students, I have the ability to click on the activity and preview it before. In here I can click it. I can here send assign by individual students or by all to all my students and it's so simple just assign and that's it. The quest here is an interactive gaming activity. And the quest is designed here that if the child finds something easy, it will quickly move him up to the next level. Where the child that finds it difficult, it will encourage him to keep going. And if they needed any help in any topic, you will get a message tells you that this student he is still struggling and need your help in this topic. See my students, I send them um, to practice multiplication and division for six. I can see that this student is really is really mastering. You can use this key indication to guide you in each step. I can see also that this is students have opened the, the, the activity, the gamified activity for them and he didn't finish. He just closed it and maybe he will do it later. And I see most, most of my students, he didn't even go open and practice. And this, the rich comment here, if I click it on as a teacher, it will send me and, and, and tell me that this student need help, need my help. He is still struggling. This, this is student's name, Elizabeth. So me as a teacher, I will go to Elizabeth and I will sign for her an easier activities like I show you before just to help her really understand the topic I was covering. It is so easy using mathematics to progress to progressing your students and help them really love and learn math. Now, now if you want as a teacher to challenge your students understanding, if you want as a teacher, if you have as a teacher an advanced student and he's really understanding the topic so easy, and he keep pushing for your attention during the class, but you need to work with others. Mathematics give you an, a great tool. The call, you go to assign and preview, you can see problem solving and reasoning. Here you can assign more complex questions to encourage mathematical thinking, to challenge your students' understanding. See here, I prepare, I pre-prepare my playlist. If you want to prepare yours, you go to add, act, add activities. It will take you ahead and straightforward to the resource hub where to take the advantage, to take the full advantage of the 700 PSR questions. You filter it by grade, you filter it by strands. This week I'm covering multiplication and division. Just click here to add it to the playlist. You can add a playlist anytime name it like I did before. I create this multiplication and division. I added six questions here and I, I, I choose another question to add to my place, playlist. That's it. Select it and save it. You can go 
go back to assign and review where you've been, you can see that you added another question. And here you can see you can um, send it to individual students or to all your students. When you assign, you can launch it live for your students to do it right now, or you can assign it later. And after students try to practice and the challenge their understanding, you can use this key indication to help you. You will find that some of that this student, the first questions, he solved it correctly. The second questions, not correct. The other partially correctly. And you can see find here. You can find here also that there is a comment. When you press on this comment, you will see that the student is asked your help. He sent you a question. When you open it, you can go and reply and help him do his homework. It's so easy and simple using Mathletics. And now, Mathletics also provides a great resources. If you go back to the resource hub, you will find there is a resources for early learners like video, storybooks, and game books for teacher to use in her class to make learning math more fun. And teachers um, and teacher can also access to the Mathletics library. Mathletics library, you can access to Mathletics library. Mathletics library have a printable activities to help make your lesson preparation effortless. If you click to the click Mathletics library from here, you can pick your grade and select student book. You can also search for a specific topic in each bar. Once you find your activity, simply click on it. If you select the student's book and click download, it will, uh, with every student's book, there is also a teacher ebook with handy notes and answers to the worksheet selected. And if you are looking for problem solving and answering questions, you can filter using the checkbox. And here you have it. You can see or you can see all these printable worksheets to add it to your lesson. The last thing I want to show you in the teacher console, and it is so important, is the report selection, which is really my favorite features in mathematics because there are there is all different of data report and data report are really handy for teachers. Student teacher can access the student report because Mathletics automated students report to make it easy for you to track your students progress. To see the student report in teacher console, navigate to the reporting section and click student report. Here you can filter it using the top tab or simply click on your class to see more detailed results. You can see your class strength and weaknesses and how they are progressing. Click on a student will allow you to track their individual progress. You can also export these results and now you can track your student progresses anytime you want. Mathletics create and design especially to your school. Review questions, assign it to your students, encourage and celebrate their progress and Mathletics will do the rest for you. Save more than 90% of your teacher of your work as a teacher. You can, you and them will have fun learning math. And now let us go together and explore the students console. When students enter and log into their console, from the home page, students can see all the activity teacher assigned for them. These activity need to be completed first. Once they finish, they are free to explore the rest of Mathletics. They can see all the topics we'll be covering in class. Expanding these will display all activities within each topic. Next to each activity is the progress bar. The green progress bar indicates that this activity is successfully completed and students achieve mastery. Gold bars mean they master the activity. Orange and red means that they need to practice more. 
and the blank means they have been started the activity yet. In the explore area, it will contain the problem solving and reasoning activity that teacher assigned to students. This activity designed to extend the students learning. The PSR activity will open an interactive learning environment to share their working and even ask teacher about the activity. You can see here students is sending you a message and you can go to your teaching console and apply for him. To view student progress as a, as a parent, you can go to the point this week. Here you will see an overview of their progress. The first column will show the number of activity they are yet to complete. The red column will represent the activity they are struggling with and achieving under 49 percentage. The green column will represent the number of activities they achieved mastery in. Clicking in one of the creatures will see the breakdown of all the activities in this category. Also, mathematics provide an additional resource. To print out some fun activities, to practice their mathematical skills, they can go to the workbook area. We'll find in the workbook area an ebooks, workbooks, and video to support students' learning. Simply, students or parents can filter by grade and resource type and find the resource for student level. This printable covers a wide range of topics and perfect for online learning. In the Explore area, also, there is additional resources. It's fun and informative videos to support the child learning. For younger learners, the Magic Mentor videos explain the mathematics concepts, while the Timetable Tunes videos has a catchy song to help them remember their timetable. Mathematics also provide a map. If you click the map A to Z, here the students can look for a definition to help them better understand mathematical concepts. In the reward system for mathematics, it will help students engage. So mathematics offer a fun reward for completing activity. Each time students finish activity, they earn points. These points will be converted into certificate, which can be printed as a reminder of how they have done well. Each week, they can achieve a bronze certificate by earning 1,000 points. Once they earn five bronze certificates, they will receive a silver certificate. To win a gold, they have to earn 20 bronze or four, or four silver certificates. And lastly, students can customize their avatar and they can personalize their console by changing their background and even go shopping for their avatar. And now students get to explore the super fun area of the program. And what and what is really engaging for students is the play area. Mathematics encourage teacher not to assign more than two or three activities per week. Let the students go and have fun learning fun, learning math. Let the students love math before starting learning it. So mathematics provide the play area. Mathematics offer a library of games to help and encourage students engagement and learning and targeting math fluency. To access game, you click play. Here the students can play the famous live mathematics where they can test their skills against students from their own school or students from around the globe. Click on the Hall of Fame to see the top score in their country or across the globe. Multiverse is also a space theme game which helps students master multiplication. Rainforest math help them practice math in an engaging rainforest theme environment. For younger learners, there's the play pose will help them explore additions and subtraction. And that's it. Everything you need to know to help your students in math, in home or in school. 
Also, you can go and check support.3p.learning to get more tips about the most of mathematics. There is an informative video that will help you really get the most of mathematics. And you can send us also and ask us for a demo account for your school to explore mathematics more. And now, I'm going to answer your questions if you have any. And I want to ask you how comfortable you are feeling with mathematics now. If you are having any feeling to the mathematics, if you find that it is really useful for you, please share it with us in the chat box. Oh, I have some good responses. People are really feeling good. So if you have any questions, please share it with me so I can really answer your questions. We have no questions. So now I will wait also for two couple of minutes just to see if you have some questions. So if you want to try mathematics, a demo account, I shared the contact information in the chat box to easy for you copy and paste it. OK, there's no questions, but there's a good response. People are really feel good using mathematics. So anytime we have a great support team, anytime you can contact us and ask for more information. Now I come to the end of our webinar today. I want to thank you for being here with us today and I'm going to wish you all of you a very nice day. So thank you for your day. Thank you for joining us today and goodbye.